Hello, this is Teacher Jeffrey. Welcome to the topic that we are going to tackle for today, Formation of the Pollen Tube and Fertilization. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below. If you want to know about upcoming videos, click the bell notification. And do not forget to click like. Let us start, come, and dive in. As the pollen lands on the surface of the stigma, the male cell in the pollen needs to meet to the ovum, or the egg cell, which happens in the ovule located in the ovary. The distance between the stigma and the ovule is quite far for the pollen to reach. How will it reach the ovule for fertilization? That is our question. There are things to consider before we answer the question. The pollen reaches the surface of the stigma as we've learned last video. That is called pollination. We need to consider as well that inside the pollen there are two nuclei. These nucleus are pollen tube nucleus and the germinative nucleus. We will try to learn on the next slide what they will do and what will happen to this nuclei as the pollen tube will grow. So we've learned that the pollen lands on the surface of the stigma. So that is pollination. This pollen will react to the sugary fluid on the surface of the stigma, releasing an enzyme in order that the pollen tube will grow. And inside the pollen, there are two nuclei. The first one to go into the tube will be the pollen tube nucleus and then the generative nucleus wherein the cell is present. As the pollen tube grows, it needs to reach the opening in the ovary, which we call as the micropyle. This provides a way for the pollen tube to enter the ovary. Once the tip of the pollen tube reaches the ovule within the ovary, it will absorb the sap and burst, releasing the two nuclei. Once the pollen tube reaches, then it bursts, isn't it? Then it will release the nuclei. The pollen tube nuclei will degenerate, while the generative nucleus fuses or meet with the ovum or the egg cell to form a zygote. This process that occurs inside the ovule is called fertilization. We discussed the formation of pollen tube and fertilization. If you are clarified by this presentation, click that subscribe button. Share it to your friends so that they can benefit too. This is Teacher Jeffrey saying, a goal without a plan is just a wish.